Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a look on this sparkly purple look. So we're going to take our Maybelline Color Tattoo Metal 24 Hour Eyeshadow in the color Barely Branded. And I just use this as a primer and put it all over my eyelids. It's my favorite go-to. Then I'm going to go in with this neutral shade from the 35 Neutral Morphe Palette. It's going to serve as a transition shade, and I'm going to put that with my Sonia Kashuk, just any fluffy brush will do. And we're going to put that on in the crease, a little above the crease, and under the crease to help us transition our colors easier. And doing this will help all the other colors that we add blend and make our jobs a lot easier in the blending world. Then we're going to go in with this color that is a little richer and more of a caramel brown and we're going to take that and put that right in the crease and we're not going to go too high above that with it. We're going to try and keep it. And to do this I'm using my Sigma E25 blending brush and it is my favorite brush for blending in the crease because it gets right in that line right where you want it and you can kind of maneuver this brush however you want it to go. If you want it to go up a little more you can take it up or if you want it to stay right there and keep it kind of tight you can do that too which makes life a lot easier. And then I'm just going to go back with no extra product on that fluffy brush and just make sure everything is blended well. Then we're going to go in with a clean Sigma E25 and we're going to do this dark plum purple shade. And this we're going to keep a little bit below the crease. I just used a little bit on my brush and we're just going to keep that real low so we don't look like we got punched in the face. Working with dark colors can be a little tricky but as long as you keep them low and have lighter colors to blend them into it helps. And you're just going to keep blending until you get the right color that you want. And you can always go back in later and add some more if it doesn't look exactly how you wanted it to. Then I'm going to go on with this Buxom palette that I created at Ulta. And I'm going to go in with the purple shade called Wild Nights. And I'm just using my flat shader brush from Sonia Kashuk. You can use any flat, dense brush that you want. We just... Oh, and I cannot even tell you how beautiful these shadows are. I went to buy a Buxom lip gloss and ended up leaving with my palette instead. And I was so impressed by the pigmentation and how creamy and buttery they were. And I just fell in love. I think I'm going to have to go back and make me some more. Um, but I wanted it to shine just a little bit more, so I'm going in with some Fix Plus with a little more product and spraying that on there just to wet it a little bit to bring out more of the shimmer in the eyeshadow. It really helps to help that color pop a little bit. You can't tell a big difference here, but now we're going in with the CoverGirl True Blend Foundation. Super white in Ivory One. And have no fear, I'm this pale year-round. We're using our Sigma Flat Top Kabuki in F80 to blend this out. I'm just going to put it all over our face and blend it the best we can so we don't have any harsh lines. And I'm looking for a new foundation brush, but for now, my F80 is my ride or die. We just blend every day together. And I probably over blend and just blend till my hand hurts for no reason, but I'd rather blend all day than be pale and have lines. Then we're going in with our Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. There's my friend Caitlin in the background. And we are using the color Fair to highlight our under eyes. And she's experiencing the book some palette. For the first time in real life instead of FaceTime. And we're going to use our Real Techniques brush. It is the setting brush, but I like to use it to blend out my 
under eye concealer sometimes instead of a beauty blender just depends on the day but I am going to go back in today with the beauty blender and just get rid of those fine lines and make sure everything's blended well before we apply our powder under our eyes and then we're going to go and then I'm going to go in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium. And I'm going to be using my favorite powder brush. It's from Walmart. And it's Drew Barrymore's makeup line called Flower. And it's just a big fluffy brush. And the number is F01. And it's nice, quick, and it just covers your whole face quick and easy when you need to be in a hurry. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Subconscious from Kat Von D's Shade and Light Palette. And I'm going to just bronze quickly with my Real Techniques Multitask Brush. And just add some bronzer to underneath my cheeks. I don't want to do a harsh contour. And we're going to just keep blending. Then I'm going to go in with Dandelion from Benefit, and I'm going to be using my RC Cosmetics brush. It's just your typical blush brush shape, and we're just going to apply that to the apples of the cheeks and brush it backwards towards my temples. And then I'm going in with my Body uh, Bodyography Pro Brow Pencil. And I'm going to be using my Dip Brow Pomade by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Soft Brown. And I'm going to fill in my brows. My favorite part makes your face totally transform once you fill in your brows. And it's the most exciting. I think it brings your whole look together once your brows are done. I only did one brow because it takes forever on camera. Then I'm going in with my Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit. And using the top highlighter shade, I don't know what the name of it is, but it is my favorite eyeshadow for highlighting under my brows with almost any look. And then I am going to take my eyeliner out of my BoxyCharm, and it's M-I-C-A Beauty Cosmetics. Mika, Mika, in the color black, and it's just a gel eyeliner. And I'm using my Sigma Small Angle E65 brush to apply this. And I just wanted a small, thin line. And of course, one eye always ends up perfect, and one eye ends up thicker. And the perfect eye is never the one that's right, so you have to go back and fix it. But that's okay. We get over it. Then I'm going in with that deep purple one more time just to darken it up and get it exactly how I want it to make sure that it there is a separation and a line between my purple and my blending shade so everything goes up. You know, just casually laughing at my husband and my best friend. No big deal. Back to makeup. And... Just keep blending. And once you get it to your desired look, I'm going to just keep blending, blending, blending. And we're using that original shade and a pencil brush by Sonia Kashuk. Caitlin just realized she's been in the video the whole time. Hey, Caitlin. And you're going to blend so that it's not such a harsh line under your eyes. Then we're going in with L'Oreal Voluminous Eye Mascara. That's an eyeshadow. And it is my favorite drugstore mascara. If you like fluffy, long lashes, you might want to give it a try. And it is black. Um, I'm applying that to my top lashes to the best of my ability because I always end up getting it all over my face, all over my eyelid. And when that happens, if you just let it dry and then just take a Q-tip and just kind of twirl it on there it comes right off easy peasy and there you have it guys here is the final look i hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching bye
somewhere on a beach. Sitting something strong. Got a new girl. She's got it going on. I'm leaving that in the video.